I wouldn't forget a fellow that saved my life. But, uh, I mean, the way you look. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, see, a uh, horse threw a tent on the other side of Lincoln, and I've been scraping rides and putting it in between. But I've traveled better. You remember that time I hit the lottery outside of Guadalupe? <laughs> yeah, I remember. Yeah, you rented a private stage, huh? and you had champagne and all that. <laughs> what, uh, what you been riding since then? Oh, wherever it looks green, Wyoming, mostly. Oh, yeah? Fact is, I could uh, use a stake to get me there, Billy. Oh, listen, I draw, what, $30? I get paid Friday. I had a big poker game Saturday night. As a matter of fact, yes, I, uh, on the shady side, of six bits myself. <sighs> Tell you what I might be able to do. I might be able to swing your job around here for a while. A job, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no, thanks. How about a horse? Yeah, I can get you a horse. This, uh, little pony right over there is mine, that bay on this side. Uh, rides pretty good. Yeah, well, thank you. Ciao. Ciao, it's about an hour. Oh, next time by, Billy. You can use the doctor. No, Billy. You on the run? That's about the fact of it. Matt Garrett after you? No, no, it's an old school, the other side of the territory. Listen, listen, you're not gonna make it past the San Miguel line, much less to Wyoming with that shoulder. That's just where, Billy. I worked the ranch there once and made myself a friend, so to speak. Yeah. You're always one for making friends, weren't you? I sure am getting awful saddled, Vince. You can rest after we catch up to Farrell. Yeah, but we might never find him out here. We'll find him. Come on. I'm telling you, Skip, it, uh, it's bound to be an infection in that thing. You better let me, better let me clean it out for you. No, well, not till I'm in the clear anyway. It don't hurt much now. It just feels kind of numb-like. You know, I'd almost be willing to Trade this in for a good glass of brandy. Place with plenty of lights. Fast music, girl. Yeah. Well, it don't cost nothing to wish about it. Oh, it costs all right. Except to put your nose against the pain. That's the truth, too. You know, when I was a kid back in Kansas, there was a red and silver mouth organ in a hardware window. And every Saturday in town, I just stood there and bled for it. I got it, too. It took me six Sundays in a row snitching a nickel out of the church offering, but I got it. At nights, I'd kind of sneak it out from under my pillow. Just look at it, touch it. Risco, 
That's for me, Billy boy. Yes, sirree. I always had a feeling I'd fit in nice and snug there. <coughs> well, I ain't heard any rumors things were going for free just exactly there either. Well, that's where, that's where Maddie comes in, the friend, friend I was telling you about. She lives just the other side of the break in the mountains over there. I remember it. Hey, Billy, you going up to the house first. Will you kind of smell it out a little bit? Fact is, Maddie's pa didn't exactly take to me with open arms, not the way Maddie did. Will you do that for me, Billy? That gun makes you as nervous as it does me, ma'am. That thing just allowed to go off. That's right, it could. You saddle loosers are all alike, aren't you? You think you can just walk in and take over because the woman's left alone. Well, I'll bet uh, saddle drifters around here don't bother coming around a second time, do they? That's right, they don't. Now get. It, it's me, Skip. You sure haven't forgotten me, have you? I remember you. Well, aren't you glad to see me? Should I be? Well, well, sure. Say, you know what I've been thinking all the way up here? What I've been remembering? I've been remembering the time you and I, we snuck off to the traveling fair at the county seat. And, and you fixed that rum cake in the basket? Billy, I'm telling you, you never tasted cake like that in your life. And, and we got stuck up in the Ferris wheel and look down at the whole world. You remember that, Manny? I knew somehow, somehow I'd make it here, and I knew that you'd be waiting here for me. What is it? Well, nothing, honey, just a hunting accent. That's all, ain't that right, Billy? Yeah, I guess you could call it hunting. Well, come inside. Starting to get in second. You're gonna have to get him a doctor. No, Maddie. Well, the fact is, uh, I had a run-in with some cavalry boys. They were drunk and spoiling for a fight. But who'd believe me? She's right. If you don't get that thing fixed, cleaned out, it's gonna swell up on you. Get stiff pretty quick. Can you do it? Yeah, I can cry. You got a bed in there? You gotta give me a kettle of water. Put on a boil and. Uh, you find a straight razor around here someplace. You put it in the kettle. Uh, say, Marty, your pa around someplace, riding fence, maybe? Pa died last March. Oh, well, that's a shame. I'm, I'm sorry. But you, you don't live here all alone, do you? Oh, Josh is still here, but he's driving some yearlings uh, into San Marcos to sell. <laughs> Pretty clean. That thing's got to be scraped. You uh, better catch gangrene if you don't. You think you have to take it? Go ahead. I'll try to make it quick. Right out. But what I want to 
do a thing like that for... I got me a roof, soft bed, meals, and it wouldn't cook them for me. What better could I ride to, Billy? The land we pass through leaves a good trail, Skipper. Oh, those cavalry boys, huh? They'd probably give up by now. That undershirt you're wearing is prison issue, Skipper. You knew right along, huh? You ever been in prison, Billy? I mean, a, a real prison. With the rows of cells and guards walking up and down with clubs in their hands. Now, that's something to try, Billy. You don't know what, what day it is or what year even. Then you get to thinking maybe... Maybe they'll forget all about you and just leave you there to rot. How'd you get sent up there? Well, you see, there was this uh, trooper. And I got in a row with him over a girl. It was pure self-defense. But that jury was just stacked against me. I play red, and that's how I know it's gonna come up black. All my life, Billy. But just like everything else, there was this guard, Gimp. And he had it in for me. You know, he has in one of them short Billy whips with lead stickers on the end of it. First chance I got, I just let free. And the, uh... The only regret I got is I miss killing Gimp on the way out. A man like this Gimp, he's gonna keep coming after you. What about Maddie? Well, what about her? Well, I mean, if they catch you here, you're gonna make it pretty hard on her. <laughs> Why, Billy, boy, you took a... you took a liking to her, didn't you? Anyways, after I clear out, um, I, I mean, it's no skin off of me if you uh, want to stick around, you know? You feeling better now? Just like coming through a storm, finding you here, Maddie. Let me help you. I've grown up into a woman, too. I was a woman when you left me. Well, don't you think I forgot that, Maddie, because I haven't. I was just telling Billy how much you meant to me. Wasn't I, Billy? Yeah, I guess that's just about what you were telling me. I don't think I ever came by your name. William Bonnie, ma'am. She must have heard of you by a different call than Billy. I've heard of him. Riding with company like that, no wonder the accident happened. You're the kind that's never satisfied till you turn somebody into as wild and gun crazy as yourself. Well, I... You, you tell us, Skip. Nobody has to tell me about your sort. You were never like him before. Pa always told me you'd end up running with a wild one. Yeah, your pa was always saying things. You just stayed on here at the ranch after he died, huh? What else could I do? You must have left your little money. Only the money I saved to marry on. Mary, I can't tell you how sorry I am. I wasn't able to get back to you. Sorry. What do you think I was? I waited. I kept thinking, tomorrow he'll come. Finally, I just quit waiting. Mary, it was me who waited for you in Tucson. I felt sure that after you got my letter that... Letter? I didn't get any letter from you. Well, then it must have got lost somehow. I waited every day, holding my breath for Pa to bring in the mail, and there was never anything. Well, that's it. Your Pa must have got that letter and then, and then tore it up, hating me the way he did. And there I was in Tucson and waiting for you. I figured that uh, he must have got you to change your mind. Oh, Skip. Oh, I would have come in a second if, if I'd known about your letter. You know that. Hey, Billy, you're not riding back, are you? You know the last time I seen Billy? It was in El Paso now, wasn't it, Billy? He was pinned down by a bunch of red-eyed trail herders. I got a lucky shot and drove him off. That's the way it was, wasn't it, Billy? A 
Well, maybe you just forgot all about it by now. I ain't much up again. I'm going to sign, put the horses away if you need me. Any time at all if you need me. Taking hard to me, ain't you, Maddie? Is there any reason why I shouldn't? Well, if things were different, I might be able to scrape up a couple of reasons. You are afraid of me? I mean, all that talk you hear around here. I'm not afraid of you or anybody else. <laughs> yeah, I kind of found that out quick-like. Sorry about that. Your hand, I mean. I'm setting table if you're hungry. Yeah, let me finish this up here. Why are you doing that? Oh, I don't know. When you drift, drifting, you, you kind of feel the need to have things set in some kind of order, like uh, even an old well like this. A lot of things around here need straightening. Take a year of Sundays to put this place in order. No, I don't think so. I don't think it takes long. It'd be worth it. You'd think differently if you were penned up here all your life. You've been around. You've seen part of the world. All I've ever done was stare at it out of a dirty window. It'll be different now this kid's come back. You kind of get your heart set on him staying on, and you fixing up this place here, huh? He'll stay this time. A man would be a fool if he didn't. Except, you see, when, I, when a man has a drifting itch inside him, it don't take reasons for him just to back off. You understand what I mean? Skip's done wandering. He told me so. You may think he's like you, but he's not. The food will be ready in a minute. If you want to eat, you better wash up. I'll tell her the truth, Skip. Well, Manny, you see, I, I lied to you. I was, in, I was in prison. That's why I couldn't get back to you. Don't you see? I, I didn't want you to know. I tried to stick it out, Maddie. I tried, but all I could think about was you, and that's why I broke out to come here. an escaped prisoner, ma'am. The trail leads right this way. Well, there's no one here. Uh, maybe he's hiding around without you knowing it. I'm alone, I told you. That's how come two coffee cups on the table? It, uh, it ain't no use, honey. You'd find out quick enough. Uh, see, she thought maybe you were her pa coming back from town, you know. I guess you know how it is. <clears throat> I'd uh, ask you in for something to eat, but... Uh, <laughs> nah, got no time anyway. Back and close like we are now. I don't envy you none out riding on a day like this. Yeah, that's why I figured him to hold up someplace. I didn't want to say nothing in front of the woman. But you'd best stay close here till we get him. Oh, you wouldn't hurt a woman, would you? That's where you're wrong. You were sent up for doing a woman in. And not pretty like either, if you follow me. But I'll get him. And I ain't the kind to baby woman killers. You're heading 
up the Sands Creek. I'll hit the draw up there and they'll turn back. I gotta get out of here. Uh, honey, you know the money your pa, your pa left you while I'm gonna need some of it to get us set up in Santa Fe. How much was that? Six hundred. Yeah, matter we're gonna have us a time. I'm gonna get there ahead and get everything set up. And then when I'm in the clear, I'll send for you. I haven't got the money here. It's in a bank in Santa Fe. In Santa Fe. Well, that's even better. No, well, that's better because this way we can be together right from the start. You know how it's gonna be, matter. You know how I told you there's gonna be hotels and, and dining rooms with white tablecloths. And you, you in a silk dress. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy you a, a blue silk dress. Matter you, you got to come with me. It's my only chance now. You got about a half hour head start on him, Skip. You better take it and move. To what? To what, Billy? I got myself a lame arm and no money. No, I've been on the run my whole life, and I and it's going to end right now. Come on, Matty, honey. Come on, come on. Go get your things. Come with me. Matty, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Billy, this is the only chance I got. Don't you understand that? What are you worried about, Manny? I'm going to make a real life for her. What do you think? I'm going to walk off and leave her something? No, once I'm safe, we're going to have a, a real life together. You're losing time, Skip. All right, Billy. All right. But I figure you still owe me a little. I owe you a chance to move free out there. But I don't owe you this girl's life. You draw on me. That's the way it stands. Over this. Well, no sense leaning on my luck, I guess. Skip, you can't go, please. Skip! 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 I, I guess we're... quits, Billy Boy. Yeah, I guess. Seeing as how you meant that from my back. You did it deliberately. You turned your back on him, so he draw. No, no, wait, Matty. Yeah. Wait, wait a minute, Skipper. No. Wait, listen. <laughs> Skip was sent to prison because he killed a woman. He would have left you for dead just as soon as the money ran out. No, not me. He would have stayed with me. Maybe for a week. I would have had a week. At least I would have had a week. Oh, what? Maddie, I, I, I don't know why, Maddie. I don't know why. I looked down at Skip just like he was me. You see, Maddie, for... If a man knows why, he can get off the road before it comes to an end. You understand? Huh? <laughs> it's all right, baby. It's going to be all right. Manny, you'll see what happened was for the best someday. I'm going to come around in a couple of days in case there's anything you need. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm.